Hey everybody, I am Jane. This is my channel, Jane Volante Art. Today I'm gonna to show you how this really gorgeous collage all came together. I hope you'll watch. Okay, so I have a lot of stuff in front of me, which is not unusual, but I want to make a collage with this watercolor paper that I made. And I've got a, what is this? Nine by 12 canvas panel. And I want to mount this on here, but I'm trying to think, you know, what should I do for this background? These little bits, you know, and there's so many different ways you could go with that, right? You could do washi, you know, you could paint it, <clears throat> put a decoupage paper under it. So I'm in fact going to use a tissue with this super cool stencil from Stencil Girl. I'll link it, I don't know what it's called. I'll link it in the description. Um, I have an old cutting surface underneath because I'm going to use some sprays and it's going to soak through. So let's see, I wanna get one more. Maybe I'll grab my mat here. Okay, so I have, I don't know how this is gonna look underneath here, but I'm going to try some Distress Oxide sprays through this stencil. This is a messy process, just an FYI. Um, <clears throat> I think that, so when I put it on, it's gonna be this side you know, here and here, that's kind of showing through a little bit on the bottom, but it's just gonna be pattern, which is what I want. I already have, you know, a lot going on on this paper. So I'm gonna do just, I'm gonna hold my spray up fairly high so I don't get massive saturation. So the colors I'm using, I just used, the pink was the picked raspberry, <clears throat> excuse me, one of my very favorite, um, the mustard seed, and then this is abandoned coral. When you shake them, make sure the top is on because <laughs> it'll spray all over the place. And get some more of that really bright pink. And so then, you have ink all over the top of this, right? So instead of wasting that, grab some computer paper and make papers. <laughs> if I can pick it up. Right, so cool. That's amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> That's what I like. Mm, I love these little bits. These are so cool. Love. I mean, this is going to be neat to collage into something. Here's what's underneath. And you see the sprays, you don't get a crisp stencil. You definitely don't. But you get some cool stuff when you pull prints from the top, too. So <clears throat> just note the difference. I'm going to put that to the side just for a sec. And then I want to grab... I'm going to grab a couple more papers. I'm just going to see. I'm just laying these out. Nothing might occur. <laughs> but I'm just going to see if there's any ink that's still underneath this stencil that I can capture. So you got a little bit there. So these papers aren't wasted, right? There, I will use these to pull um, gel prints. So I just got a little bit on here, but this will go in my gel print papers pile that is a tongue twister and I will use that 100%. All right, so I have dried this with my heat tool and I'm just taking my little Paint Pixie Mermaid brush here. It's a watercolor brush and it already has the water in the tube, which makes it so stinking easy to cut this thing out. I'm just outlining it with water so that I can pull it right out. All 
All right, so I absolutely love this page. <laughs> I almost don't want to cover it up with this, but I'm still going to. <laughs> but I really do love this. I think I'm going to stick with... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use matte medium to put this on. Um, a very, very liquid medium. It has a matte finish, and um, it's going to help seal the oxide spray as well because the oxide sprays they can always be reactivated if they get wet and I definitely don't want that to go on so what I'm doing is decoupaging this down but I'm using the matte medium which is a really really great fine art sealer and the second this touches it, it's going to start. It's going to start to seal. So I'm going to push it down first so it gets a little taste of that matte medium. Get a little taste of it. Because if I were to put the matte medium straight onto here with a brush, it would. This uh, ink would smear all over the place. This distress oxide spray. <clears throat> Voice is slowly getting better. It's only sick for an entire month. I tried to pretend I wasn't sick, but man, this one got me. Okay, so it's got a little taste of this matte medium now, right? And so you can see I can pull my brush. I do have matte medium still on it, but I can pull it over and I'm really not smearing the oxide spray, right? So I'm going to just take some more matte medium right on top. And it's not, it's not moving the pigment, which is good. Okay, so I'm actually really loving this underneath here because they're all analogous colors. They're all really, really similar in tone, even though these are brights. Right, and I love the contrast. I just think that's way cool. Way cool, don't you think? So I'm trying to decide, I think I might do, this is a really thick piece of, I was thinking about my Yoohoo, but I almost think I'm gonna need the decoupage gel. So let me, let me work on getting this ridiculous thing open and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so, um, okay, so, <laughs> uh, I am going to, I'm going to put the decoupage medium on both things. And I'm going to do it fairly thick because this is a thick piece. Um, how many pounds is it? I don't remember. 140 pound. So well, it's a big, thick piece of watercolor paper. All right, I have the gel medium on both pieces. And this is gonna be hard to get down. I need like four hands. <laughs> But the reason why I put the decoupage medium on both sides is so that it had something to grip to the second I put it down. Because, you see how thick this is? I'm going to put a big, big blob of it right there. Blob. It'll dry clear, so don't worry if you do get too much. I almost need my whole arm here. Just keep going around because once this decoupage gel starts getting tacky, if it pops up, it's going to stick back down even easier. So just keep going around. Hmm. That's pretty fun, huh? So I am going to put a layer of the decoupage medium on top of all of this because I am about to use some transfers.
And that will leave just a really, really great tooth for the transfer to stick to. I'm loving this. This is so cool. <laughs> I love this paper. Okay, let me let this dry and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm being really, really careful right now and I just needed to see these on, on here. So these are transfers from the Whispering Willow collection. I have a link for them in um, the description. And then I think so. I'm, and this is from a Paint Pixie transfer called Playing Our Song. And so I think I'm gonna pop that in there. I'm gonna cut these two pieces off and sort of layer them down. And then I'm gonna do these. So let me cut this out. All right, so I'm gonna cut this apart too. <laughs> I really should cut that off. Just trying to make this easier on myself. We're gonna see, no, don't stick. Don't stick, just sit there. I just, this would be hard to move around here. I gotta just be so careful. Okay, so those are on, they are transferred right on. And so I'm just gonna do the hummingbird and the flowers and I'll be back. All right, you guys, I love this. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I really like this. More matte medium on top. Let's protect these transfers. It's one last coat over the entire Composition, just a good old idea. One more little thing to tell you about. I actually added the page number that was in that strip. Um, it just, it needed something right here. This was too blank and this is absolutely perfect. It leads your eye from here to here to here, you know, or the other way around. So um, that worked out so well and I absolutely adore this. Thank you so much for hanging out. Do go to my website, janebelanteart.com for classes and inspiration. You can follow me on Facebook where I am live multiple times per week. I'm on Instagram, I'm on all the things. And make sure that you listen to my podcast that I do with my friend, Gina Luker. It's called Creatively Curious. The link to that is also in the description. And um, I'll see you next Friday. Thanks so much.